Yes. So this is the Nusantara 3.3 for Xiaomi device garden. Okay. Garden. It means uh, it's Unify ROM for the Redmi 9A Dandelion and the Redmi 9C Angelica. Okay. So you can use this ROM for the both phone, the Redmi 9A and the Redmi 9C. Okay. I will show you how to unlock this bottle the respawn using instant ubel from Hydro Dongle, install custom recovery and then install the ROM. Okay. You can see here we're using the unofficial from the Wulan. Okay, so credit for Wulan 17. <coughs> and we have uh, save baseband and email. Okay. I have make a quick review about this ROM about the camera, GPS, sound, video, video recording and photo and etc. Okay, so it's working very well and I will <coughs> very recommend for daily driver. Okay, it's better much than the stock home. Okay, so guys stay tuned and check it out. Hello guys, Assalamualaikum, we meet again with Om Bob Okay, uh, today we're going to try to customize Xiaomi Pon Okay, two kind of uh, Xiaomi Pon The Redmi 9A and the Redmi 9C Okay, we will try to <coughs> unlock bootloader this pawn Plus the custom recovery and then as a custom ROM, okay. This tutorial can be applied to the Redmi 9A Dandelion and also the Redmi 9C uh, Angelica, okay. So let's get started. Uh, in my hand, I have the Redmi 9A, okay. Once more, again, you can apply this for the Redmi 9C, okay. Let's go to the pawn and you can see using the MU 12.0.8.0 stable okay this is the Indonesian version and uh, okay let's check the specs it has 3 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal as and 32 gigs of internal storage okay let's enable the proper option I hit the MU version five times okay go back <coughs> Uh, additional settings, developer options, and you can see here this device is still locked. Okay, so uh, for this tutorial, I will use instant unlock bootloader using the Hydra dongle. If you don't have the dongle, you have to do it manually. Okay, you have to wait for seven days. <laughs> okay, so <coughs> okay. I have the hydro dongle right here. Uh, let's plug the dongle. Okay, and let's switch the screen. Okay, guys, so uh, now I'm opening the Hydra Mediatek tools and let's select the brand Xiaomi and Redmi 9A Helion. Okay, let's use this one. And after that, Turn off your pawn and hit the boot info. Okay, after hit the boot info, it will initiate. And you have to press the follow up, follow down, and then press the USB cable. Okay, let's press the boot info. <clears throat> okay, now you see uh, it's starting to initiate. It will read the pawn and doing some backups. Okay, it's making the preloader, PGPT, FRP, and data and etc.
Okay, now it's done. Now we need to unlock the pawn. So select the bootloader right here and select the unlock bootloader. Hit the execute button. Hit yes and it will unlock the pawn. Okay. <coughs> bootloader status lock. Uh, bootloader status unlock. Okay, now we're done. Let's close this one. And let's open Windows Terminal. Okay. Now we need to go to the press boot mode by pressing the volume down and the power button. Okay. Now let's plug the USB cable. Okay, let's check the bootloader status. Press boot space uh, get far space all. Okay, the product is then the on and it has been unlocked. Okay, so we're done unlocking this one and this is the step okay this rom uh, center os android 9 is uh created by woolen so uh uh with the code name is garden okay garden i don't know what it's mean maybe it's flower because the redmi and a code name is flower and the redmi 9c is also flower okay so all the reads for the Wulan 17s, okay. Mm. Uh, for the steps, like usual, make sure you have backup the image, the NV data and NVRAM, okay. Okay, let's open Explorer right here. And we have the PBRP Garden. Open it using the 7-zip. Go to the RP folder and extract this one. Okay. I want to rename the file so we will not be confused. <coughs> so let's <coughs> type some command. Passboot space flash. Place recovery. Okay. Then just click and drag the file. Okay. Okay, and for the next step, uh, we need to paste the DB meta. Okay, let's just copy and paste this command. And just click and drag the DB meta. Done. Now let's uh, boot into the recovery. Press boot to reboot to recovery. Press boot space reboot space recovery. Okay, let's wait. Okay, if this command doesn't work you can always use the uh, manual way okay it's working <laughs> okay uh, now let's try to format the data Okay, let's pick up. Uh, let's let's just pick up first the uh, email. Okay, just for, for caution, go to the backup menu right here. <clears throat> Select this icon. Enable compression for smaller size, and then let's select the NVRAM. Uh, uh, and then NVRAM. 
NV data, NV RAM, where is it? NV data and EGFD. Okay, just two files. NV RAM, NV data. Okay, let's pick up. <clears throat> and let's save. Pick up to a folder. Okay, just make sure you have copy the file into the computer. Let's put it in here. Okay. And then <clears throat> going to format the data. Like wipe and format data, tap yes. <coughs> and then uh, select reboot recovery. Okay. Okay, now we are in the system recovery again. Switch the screen. <clears throat> and this is the internal storage. Uh, let's copy the custom ROM. This is the Nusantara OS. Paste it in here. And we want, we also want to uh with the gaps okay this is um arm and under it eleven I'm using the any gaps uh let's paste it in here and we also want to use images okay let's use the okay, this one okay this one Okay, image is optional. If you don't like root access, you can ignore that one. Okay, let's switch again. And then let's flash the images. Uh, sorry, the custom ROM. You can go to the install menu. Select the Nusantara and swipe it. Okay. Okay, will it will start the uh, flashing. So please be patient. After flashing the ROM, we need to uh, reboot again to the custom recovery. And after that, you can flash the caps and also mages.
Okay, now it's done. Let's hit the home button. Select the power button right here and reboot recovery. Okay, now it's done. Back and start images. In the canary, the latest one. Okay, good. Now let's hit the power button. Select reboot system. Okay, we'll wait. Okay, nice. This is the new uh, Nusantara OS boot logo. Okay, <laughs> it will display the islands of Indonesia. Okay, Java, Sumatra, Sulawesi, Maluku, uh, Papua, NTT, NTB, etc. Okay, very nice. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> let's go to the home screen. Uh, let's connect to the Wi Fi first.
Okay, let's just skip the email. Skip the screen lock. Okay, guys, now we are in the home screen. <clears throat> I will stop this video and let's make a quick review about this room. Okay guys, so this is the Redmi 9A and we have successfully installed Nusantara OS on this phone. Okay, this also can be applied on Redmi 9C. Okay, let's take a quick review about this ROM. Is it worth it enough to order the driver or not? Okay. First thing I want to do is, uh, let's check, we have successfully installed Mages. Okay, this is the latest Mages and it doesn't have a uh, magic side okay <laughs> uh, okay and then <clears throat> let's check the what is it map okay we want to test the dps is it working or not Okay, the GPS is very fast and it's locking. Okay, this room is very smooth, much better than the stock room, and also the DSI. Okay, <laughs> okay now let's test the sound and video. Okay, let's try to play the YouTube. Okay, I've installed this YouTube before. Let's play uh, Ramon song, okay. <laughs> Okay, can you hear the sound? Okay, so for the sound and video is working very well. There is no problem. And let's try to test the camera. This is uh, the back camera. I will take a picture and uh, also a video. Okay guys, so I am recording using the back camera and I will show you the result. Okay, now let's take a picture with the front camera. And let's take a video with the front camera, okay. Okay guys, so now I'm recording using the front camera on the Redmi 9A custom ROM on the garden. Okay, let's stop and let's check the result. <coughs> okay, this is the result from the back camera. Uh, and this is the result from the video recording on the back camera okay the microphone is not very good but it's working okay and this is the result from the front camera and this is the result from the front video camera okay this is acceptable because this is although the redmi 9a the low budget <laughs> Okay, so for the GPS and uh, sorry, <coughs> for the camera, front and back camera for taking picture and video is working very well. <coughs> uh, yes, let's check the email. Okay, there is no problem with the email. And let's. Uh, And there is also no problem with the 
SIM card that are okay so all, uh, all of the basic thing is working so for the verdict I will uh, recommend this from it's very nice it's better much better than the stock from and also the DSI ROM okay. this is the best ROM that I have seen on the garden okay garden is redmi 9a and the redmi 9c okay that's all guys <coughs> i hope you like this video uh if you like please give it a thumb okay <laughs> and i also have a last video about room and custom rom please check my other video and i will very appreciate if you subscribe to my channel it will make me very excited to make a video okay thank you guys have a nice day and wassalamualaikum